10 years. That's a sentence for a San Antonio woman who failed to stop and help a Kirby soldier she hit with her car. For two years, we have been following the recovery of Matthew Belknap. The soldier was hit by a truck while riding his bicycle on his way to work at Brook Army Medical Center. He suffered numerous broken bones and fractures, but the most damage was to his brain. The injuries forced him to end his military career. In this case, the driver, Marissa Ross, pled no contest, allowing the judge to decide her punishment. The night team's Patty Santos was there when the judge handed down her punishment. I stood there and raised my right hand and swore to give my life to protect somebody that tried to take it from me and my family but she couldn't even admit she'd done anything wrong. Matthew Belknap says justice was served today when the woman who struck him and left him for dead, Marissa Ross, was handed a 10-year prison sentence. There's nothing that can be done about what's happened to me, and I'm as good as I'll probably ever be. In the two years since the crash, Belknap has undergone multiple surgeries. The damage suffered from head to toe. His mental and cognitive abilities fractured for life ending his military career dreams. My husband died that day. The Belknaps frustrated by Ross's inability to own up to her actions while she pleaded for mercy from the judge. It wasn't like, I'm sorry, I own my stuff. She didn't plead guilty. She did not ever say, yes, I was drinking, I did it. I'm sorry. Multiple church friends pleaded on Ross's behalf, but in the end, the judge said Ross was not truly remorseful and needed to take responsibility for her actions. I don't remember what happened, but my wife and my kids had to live through it. And for that alone, I, she got what she deserved. Marissa Ross still has another DWI charge to deal with. That happened about a month before the crash. Tonight's 10-year prison sentence could be reduced significantly through parole. Her attorney has about six months to file for an appeal on that decision. Steve.